Hey guys, welcome back for another brew day. So we've got up fairly early to get the uh, the mash underway, which is happening at the moment. Uh, so what I'm brewing up today is an English brown porter. Um, so I might have mentioned in previous videos, I like to try and keep a, a lighter and a darker style beer on tap. So I've currently got my Rewalker Pilsner in one keg and the other keg's just run out. Um, just on the Rewalker Pilsner, I am planning to do a tasting video of that um, hopefully this weekend. Um, but anyway, on to the beer. So the English um, Brown Porter, um, I'm mashing at 66 degrees and I'll just quickly run through the recipe. Might even put it on the side of the screen here. So this is one I've put together myself. So the bulk of the grain is Maris Otter, so 71.5%. Uh, next up we've got uh, light chocolate, 9.5%, uh, brown malt, 9.5%, medium crystal, 4.8%, and then I thought I'd add a little bit of wheat, just to help maybe give it a little bit of um, body, mouthfeel, etc. 4.8%, uh, so that's all the malt. Um, I'm just doing one addition of Fuggles to give me my bitterness at flame out. Uh, around, I'm aiming for around 20 nine ish 25 to 30 ipus but i'll probably end up around 29 with my calculations um abv i'm aiming for that sort of five to sort of 5.3 percent and then i'm using so4 yeast so yeah fairly simple recipe it's so it's all going to be about the the malts um looking forward to having something with a bit more um malt character to it just to like I say bounce off the lighter style um, beer that I've got in the other keg so yeah we'll finish off the um, mash and then um, I'll just do a couple of clips because you guys have seen all this uh, before and then we'll come back with the uh, hydro sample at the end and okay so the mash is finished and just pull the grain bag out we'll just sparge these grains and get our pre-boil volume and then I'll be back. So the boil's just started. Smelling fantastic with that, uh, with those chocolate and brown malts etc in there. So we'll let the uh, boil do its thing and then we'll come back for the uh, hop edition. Okay, so I'm going to do my one and only hop edition. So I've got 50 grams of Fuggles here, which I'm, I was going to put it in at the end of the boil, but I'm actually going to put it in now and let it boil for uh, 12 minutes to give me my uh, bitterness. So let's uh, put that in. And we will let that do its thing. Okay, so we're at the end of the boil, so I'll just turn off the boiler. And what I do, because I don't have a wort chiller, is I've actually boiled less volume and then we're just going to lick it back with some cold water to drop the temperature straight away and also give me my pre-boil pre volume. So we will do that and then we'll be back. Okay, so we've finished liquoring back. They've dropped the temperature pretty much straight away from 100 down to under 60 degrees. Now I'm just transferring it through the hop spider into the fermenter. And then we'll um, come back with a hydro sample and a wrap up shortly. Okay, so brew day is done and dusted. It's quite a few hours later, so I've had a chance to cool the wort down and pitch that SO4 yeast. Um, I've got that uh, safely tucked up in the fermentation fridge to let it do its thing. So here is the hydro sample. So uh, first up, pretty happy with that color. It's a nice sort of, what would you call that, dark sort of chocolate brown. Uh, I was hoping it wasn't gonna to be too much darker than that. Um, so yeah, hopefully that sort of transfers to the finished beer. Um, the, I was a little bit off on my numbers for whatever reason, um, I did stir in the mash for quite a long time, um, but yeah, so I ended up at 104.3, um, so if it ferments as per normal, hopefully I'll get around that 4.5%, so a little bit lighter on alcohol 
content than I was uh, expecting, but still, you know, four and a half percent. That'll make a nice sort of drink, drinkable, uh, sessionable type uh, beer. So yeah, let's uh, just have a quick taste, check out the bitterness level. So a nice level of bitterness, sort of targeting around that uh, sort of mid to high sort of 20 IBU mark, uh, which I think is sort of mid, middle of the range for a uh, brown porter. Taste some of those nice malts, the chocolate and the brown malt coming through. Uh, obviously it's going to change quite a bit in, in the finished beer. So uh, yeah, that's about me done guys. Um, I'll come back obviously with a tasting video in uh, two to three weeks um, and then like I mentioned earlier in the video I'll um, try and endeavour to get a uh, tasting video up of the uh, Rewaka New Zealand Pilsner so looking forward to showing that to you yeah this weekend so thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your weekend um, yeah don't work too hard and drink some good beer thanks for watching over and out cheers Thank you.